Hello students, welcome back. My name is Jolan Banerjee and we are continuing with the lectures of Geotechnical Engineering organized by KTU. Okay. So today we will be talking about the field com last class we if you remember we were talking about the laboratory compaction method. We also calculated the energy which was generated by each compaction test, okay, and we also compared them. Now today we will be talking about the field compaction, okay. So obviously we will be talking about the field compaction and other concepts okay related to that so let's move forward compaction methods now these methods which we will be discussing it will be applicable to cohesive or cohesionless and all okay so example smooth wheel roller these can be used for gravels as well generally it is used for gravels okay gravels and coarse grain you can say coarse grain okay smooth wheel rollers are suitable for proof rolling subgrades and for finishing operations of the fills they provide a contact pressure of 30 to 40 new this is t means this is the ton okay ton per meter square means we will be calculating the pressure you know already that is force upon area pressure becomes force upon area so 30 to 40 ton per meter square means this will be per meter square area and this is the weight or force so this gives the pressure with 100 percent coverage under the wheels they are effective in compacting soils up to thickness 20 to 30 centimeters means you can say that it's quite deep because 20 to 30 centimeter from the ground it can be said to be a greater or uh, compaction efficiency they are not efficient for thicker layers so obviously uh, the suitability for cohesion less mainly as I have already told you, mainly coarse grain and gravels are being compacted by sh this smooth wheel roller. Smooth wheel roller are self propelled or towed steel rollers ranging from 2 to 20 tons capacity. They are suitable for well graded sands and gravel, silt, clay of low plasticity. Okay, Clay only for low plasticity clay means that will be somewhat behaving like silt. Okay, They are unsuitable for uh, uniform sands silty sand clays of high plasticity you can see that smooth wheel roller and actually you can i think the diagram is also there you can see this diagram i think you have seen this in the road as well this is the most common type of roller okay most common type of roller which you can be seeing mainly this is used where for compaction of road subgrade road subgrade okay mainly we have seen them in the roller also you can see it for we are at the passes okay these passes are also used at where at the finishing level of the road okay finishing the bituminous layer can be smoothened using this roller besides this if there is a confined confined area okay confined area then these types of roller are used if they are are gravels or sands mainly okay means for coarse grain so this type of roller as you have also seen here also it is written mainly where are used you can just you have to mainly remember for a smooth wheel roller what is the thickness up to which it will be compacting so it is from 20 to 30 centimeter the first thing the second thing it is mainly for cohesion less soils okay mainly for cohesion less soil that too if uh, we define uh, precisely then we can say that well graded sands okay gravel silt clays of low plasticity okay and where it can be applied uniform sand silty sand and clay of high plasticity so these are the areas then let us move to the next this is pneumatic tire roller pneumatic tire roller pneumatic tire means generally you can see in the diagram you will be this is the general tire you can see these are the tires which are used in general devices or you can say the vehicles okay but these are different in the nature as their weight can be deferred so this is the numerical you can see that there is gapping in between okay you can see that there is a gapping in between two tires the tires arranged at the back part of this are arranged in such a way that these gapping will be filled by this i think now you understand suppose if uh, these are the tires something like this from the front view if you see from the front view then the back tires will be in these parts okay in these parts so 
when the whole of the uh, roller will move or pass on from a ground then these together with this will roller uh, roll around and make the whole of the area compacted okay so now let's see what is it actually the pneumatic tire roll or rubber tire roller consists of heavily loaded wagons with several rows of closely spaced tire 4 to 6 in a row they provide contact pressure of 60 to 70 you can see that is greater than this is greater than the smooth wheeled rollers okay with 75 to 80% coverage under the wheels pneumatic tire rollers are suitable for compacting most granular soils although they are also used for compacting cohesive soil they are not as efficient as sheep foot rollers for compacting the fine grain clays compaction is achieved by kneading action and also due to the static weight of high tire pressure here what we have to remember mainly that it is used for generally used for all kinds of all kinds of soil okay the first thing but but not very much efficient very much efficient in case of clays case of clay means you can in general use it for clays as well but the efficiency won't be that high okay what else you have to remember that it is made up of tire and the pressure which is apply is greater than the smooth wheel roller and uh, beside this already you have seen the diagram so you can remember these also that the tires are arranged in this way okay this much is enough for this part okay then this is sheep foot roller sheep foot roller what is the sheep foot roller actually in this roller what happens if this is the cylindrical part of the roller say there are projections projections throughout okay throughout the body you can see that there are projections made something like this okay something like this projections are made throughout the body of the roller what will happen this when roll through the ground will cause kneading action sorry this will cause kneading action okay this will cause the kneading action hence it is the best used for best for cohesive soil example clay okay now let's go through the lines sheep foot roller consists of hollow cylinder drums with large number of projections called shanks or sheep's foot as i have already shown you in the diagram the shanks have areas of 25 to 75 cm square a for each projection during rolling these shanks pierce into the soil giving a high compactive uh, pressure of 150 to 750 you can see how high this is okay resulting in most effective compaction of cohesive soil compaction is achieved by combination of kneading action under the concentrated high pressure the initial passes of the sheep foot roller compact the lower portion of the leaf okay and subsequent passes will compact the upper and middle portion means you can see the diagram okay this is the diagram you can see how the projections are there this all are projections sorry these all are projections these all are the projections you can see okay these all are projections made now once this will roll through the ground what will happen it will kneading action will be carried out okay so kneading action will carried out so what happens in this case first of all if this is the ground okay this is the ground the kneading action will take place like this the projections will get inserted into the ground so the ground layer beneath or the below ground layer first of all gets compacted this gets compacted first this gets compacted first okay this gets compacted first of all okay due to the kneading action after that subsequent once this is get compacted now once good compaction is achieved what will happen this won't get inserted up to this level okay if it is compacted it will only insert up to this level only 
so now upper layer will be slowly compacted so first of all beneath layer then upper then upper okay means if you have divided this is the upper layer this is the middle layer this is the lower level then first of all this will get compacted then this then only this okay so beside this what you have to remember that the pressure which is it's exerted is very high you can see this much pressure is being exerted by this sheep foot roller hence best for the cohesive soils and what is the action kneading action as i have already told you and this also just now i showed you okay let's move further the sheep foot rollers are not suitable for compacting granular soil the lift thickness should be generally limited to about 20 cm they do not adequately compact the upper portion of the lift hence compaction of the last lift is generally followed by a few passes of smooth wheel roller or pneumatic tire roller you can understand itself also because it has it has projections on its uh, rollers so what will happen this is the roller and the projections are there okay this is the projection for compacting the uppermost layer even though we are all other layer is compacted okay let us suppose that all other layer is compacted only this much part is to be done now but since it has got the projections one it will be once it will move through this land what will happen these projections will get inserted and due to this some kind of you can say sometimes this this kind of something like this will be formed on the ground okay due to the insertion so the final or the final texture which we require which is this cannot be obtained by this so what we can do we can use either this smooth wheel roller or pneumatic tire roller to get final overview okay and this is remember we don't use for the granular soils we do not use okay not suitable the sheep foot roller are also known as stamping rollers they are either self propelled or towed and available in 5 to 8 tons range they are very effective for fine grain soils and sand and gravels with more than 20% fine but they are unsuitable for very coarse and uniform gravels means also it is used for gravels and sand if fines are more than 20% 20% more than 20% means suppose there is gravel okay this must be and there is clay okay this two mixture is you have the soil okay which you have to compact but this soil can be compacted by this type of pneumatic roll uh, sorry pneumatic this uh, sheep foot roller only when if this is if there is total 100% okay 100% soil is there but out of this clay must be greater than 20% and this must be less than 80% only then this type of roller can be used to compact okay this type of soil otherwise it will be considered as gravelly only then we can use the smooth wheel mainly okay smooth wheel tire can or smooth wheel roller will do the job better with this was the diagram now vibratory rollers what is vibratory rollers they are also mainly used for the cohesion cohesion less soils you have we have already discussed about this okay the vibration is produced by rotating of center or eccentric weights vibrators can be attached to smooth wheel roller pneumatic tire roller sheep foot rollers as well means different or another vibrator can be externally attached to all this type of this pneumatic or smooth wheel or even the sheep foot rollers okay so that they can accompany the compaction process vibratory roller compact the soil from the top to bottom means as i have already told you but vibratory in case of vibratory roller what will happen in just now you have seen in the sea foot it was compacting from ne beneath to above but in case of vibratory roller it will compact like this first of all this then this then this like this okay this is for vibratory from top to bottom okay the lift used should be small generally of 10 cm vibratory roller apply high frequency of about 2000 to 6000 blows per minute of low magnitude the vibratory action sets the particles in motion and rearranges them to the denser packing what is happening here the vibratory roller is providing the blows of 2000 to 6000 okay blows per minute hence due to this what will happen the sand or whatever because we have already seen that is mainly used for the cohesion less soil means sand or 
gravel okay so due to the blows what will happen they get compacted here okay slowly and slowly this is the vibration which is being provided there okay this is the example of vibratory roller you can see that there is a drum what happens you can uh, apply different types of mass inside it to increase or decrease its weight okay we fill it with water or uh, we can fill it with rocks as well to accordingly the weight of this will differ and accordingly the uh, different action which it will be carrying out will also differ okay its impact will differ vibrating plate compaction equipment you can see the vibrating plates are similar in principle to the vibratory roller but are smaller in size they are used to compact granular soil over a small area which are inaccessible to the large size compaction equipment they are also more economical than the compaction other compaction equipment if you remember this is nearly the same as the vibrating plate which we have discussed in the last class something like this here will be the motor and something like this handle will be there so motor operator and this will vibrate so as it is a small device we can use in the confined areas okay we can easily lift it up and put it wherever we are to compact okay and this is economical as well than the large ones vibrating plate rollers are suitable for most soil with low to medium fine content they are unsuitable for large volume work and for wet clay obviously vibration is generally only for the granular soils only so if there is a high percentage of clays and if there is a wet clay then this cannot be used because it will not be that efficient okay so mainly we have to understand that it is smaller in size but can be used to compact those places where confinement is there or where the an accessibility of large compacting equipment is there okay now tampers what is tamper this is the hand operator which we use means which we used to give the blows something like this if this is the ground then we just lift up and again throw it down again lift up and again throw it down so tamping is done in this part so this is also a type of compaction device a small hand operated or machine driven tampers can be used for compacting small areas of cohesive soil okay they are similar in the principle to the rammers used to in the laboratory compaction test and can be efficiently and economically used to used compared to other compaction equipment means for confined and small areas this is the one of the best alternatives which we have but can be used only for cohesive or will give best results for cohesive soil only power rammers are also called trench tampers and are pneumatic tampers they are suitable for the trench backfill and work in confined in accessible areas they are unsuitable for large volume work mainly because of very low days output this is not that important thus you have to mainly remember is that the tampers are mainly the hand operated or machine operated and they are used for the cohesive soil and for confined areas okay or where the compaction is to be made in a small area because if you are using it as a hand operator then it won't be uh, feasible to you compact a very large area okay besides this the, the tampers are also there uh, power rammers are also there okay which are also called this tampers and these are also doing the same job as a general tampers or general hand operated one okay and this also will not be suitable for the large works these are you can see the vibrating plate okay this is the before one and this is now the tamping you can see it just you have to lift it up and throw it down and here also this is the plate which will be vibrating okay so that the vibration will be transferred to the ground and compaction will be taking place here okay something like this now grid rollers what are grid rollers actually these are the nearly you can say that there are something like bars present in this 20 to 30 to 50 mm bars at a spacing of about 10 cm okay you can see this this is the what is grid you know something like this mesh okay something like this this is the grid okay or mesh we can say you can see in the diagram here you can see this is like this again something like this and again something again, again like this you can see there is the mesh okay this is the grid roller okay so 20 to 50 mm bars are there okay these bars are of diameter 20 to 50 this is the diameter 
means the diameter spacing of about 10 centimeter means the spacing between them is the 10 centimeter their mass is in the range of 5 to 12 ton grid rollers are suitable for well graded sand soft rock soils with stones containing fine fraction they are unsuitable for uniform sand silty sand high plastic because for this type of sand what will happen it will get inserted into the ground or we can say it will get stuck into the ground okay for these types of soil and it will, cannot be used for compaction but if there are rocks mainly okay or sands of well gradation then we can use it to compact them okay what will happen they as a mesh it will move okay further so the different particles it will get inserted up to a little extent so the compaction will take place there only okay and these are the weights actually this and these are actually the weights which is being used so that the impact which is being made by this can be increased okay these are only the weights so this is for now now get uh, get into the questions answer them the in the next class we will be again discussing about some other remaining part of the compaction okay after that we will be moving on to the consolidation and compressibility of the soil as well okay so please continue watching the videos and get benefited thank you